What's up YouTube, you're watching Calm Gaylor, and today we're taking a look at the Diamondback DB9. To my knowledge, this is the smallest nine millimeter currently being produced on the market. So when I think of a quality company, I don't typically think of Diamondback. It's not a company that really comes to my mind when I think of any company. I'm, I'm always thinking of Smith & Wesson, Ruger, Glock, Steyr, one of the good uh, Beretta, one of the good quality companies that you think of, but Diamondback is there. They are producing guns and let's check them out today. So smallest production nine millimeter on the market. This is the DB9 generation four. And as far as I understand, the earlier generations did have some issues, but the gen four is supposed to be much better. It has, it is, it is uh, rated for plus B. It's tiny. It holds six rounds in the magazine, single stacked and it is absolutely tiny. Let's compare it to another gun real quick, just so we can get an idea of how small it truly is. Um, so here's a Springfield XD subcompact and uh, the XD subcompact, which is a small gun, it dwarfs the DB9, it, or uh, the DB9 dwarfs it, whatever you call it. The DB9 is substantially smaller, is what I'm trying to say. Here's a Taurus PT92 full-size pistol. The DB9 is substantially smaller than the PT-92. Now, as always, I am wearing a GoPro on my head, so I hope the camera work is good enough that you can see what's going on. I never really know. So we're gonna shoot it, see how reliable it is. I haven't had this gun long enough to say that it's reliable or unreliable. I really don't know yet. Uh, that's why I'm shooting it here today. We're just gonna see how it does. We're gonna put some rounds through it. Hopefully it's reliable. If it's reliable and it stays reliable, I'm gonna carry it some because I love the size of it, but I'm a little uh leery or weary whatever you want to say of diamondback i just don't know if it's going to be a reliable gun so i've only got the close-up targets here because i feel like this is a close-up pistol let's try to hit that bowling pin on the milk crate though got him got him miss okay let's try again miss got him Got him. So far, ran that magazine with no issues. Hit what we're aiming at. It does have good sights to be such a small pistol. It's not one of these tiny pocket pistols with like no sights. It has good sights. So the slide does lock back uh, on the empty uh, magazine, which is cool for a gun this small. Let's try to shoot this little basketball here. I think we missed. I don't know if we're missing or if it's just going through it. I think it's just going through. Let's try the black basketball. Yeah, I'm hitting it. It's just not, it's just not doing much. Let's shoot the bowling pin. Got him. So, shot that magazine, no issues. We are having no problems with um, any kind of malfunctions or anything. That's the thing I always worry about with these tiny, tiny pistols is some kind of malfunctions or breakages. So let's keep shooting it. We did have a malfunction there, so failure to eject. Missed. There we go. This little thing does kick pretty hard. So we had a malfunction. Let's keep shooting it. Now this is one of these guns that you're gonna keep it clean. You're probably not gonna shoot it often. And when you do shoot it, you're probably not gonna put a ton of rounds through it. So it may be one of these guns that is reliable when it's clean, and once it gets dirty, it probably gets less reliable. That's what I would say. We're gonna finish up this box of ammo though, just to see if we have any more malfunctions. Um, that's the first malfunction that I've had with it, but like I said, with these uh, tiny guns, I just really wanna test it out before I'm willing to carry it um, often. So let's see. See if we get any more issues out of it. Malfunctions are pretty common on this channel. You always watch these big YouTubers that have gun channels and it's like, oh, they never have a malfunction. Well, let me tell you a secret. A lot of these guys, they just don't show you the malfunctions because they happen with name brand guns all the time. Your SIG P320s, notorious for malfunctioning when like a Glock won't. I mean, honestly, so just saying, these guys a lot of times are editing out malfunctions. Let's keep shooting. Miss. Shooting right low. Right low of it. All right, let me, let me actually aim. Let me focus. Got it. That's what it is. I'm not focusing. 
Got it. No issues out of that magazine. Let's try again. Got it. Got it. Out of ammo. Let's finish that dude off and then we're gonna load back up. I'm gonna open another box. Got him. All right, we're gonna shoot as fast as we can. And we're out of ammo. So we're gonna load it back up. And let's just shoot three more magazines worth. So we're gonna load back up. I'm gonna open another box. I mean, it's doing all right. It had the one failure to eject, but with a tiny, tiny gun, almost, uh, almost give it a little leeway compared to these big guns. When a big gun starts to malfunction, like this Taurus over here, there's something wrong with it because they shouldn't malfunction ever. Uh, that big Taurus PT-92, it's probably gonna have to go back if I can't figure out what's wrong with it because it's having issues. That PT-92 has never had a malfunction ever the springfield's never had a malfunction but these pocket pistols almost every single little pocket pistol i've ever had uh has a failure to eject on occasion it just happens now this is not a gun that i would want to put a ton of rounds through for one it kicks a lot but two i don't want to wear it out i would not want to damage the gun by just shooting it like thousands and thousands of rounds so i'm going to shoot it as fast as i can into the hill no issues there Let's load back up. I'm going to shoot it slowly. No issues. So it seems pretty reliable. Just had that one issue. We're going to go ahead and load back up and shoot it fast again. I'm going to do two round burst. All right. I think I'm going to load up one more time just to prove to myself that it seems to be pretty reliable so last time loading up we're just going to do more of the same it is getting hot though i can see that Six round magazines, it doesn't take much, but I mean, that's better than most J frames or five rounds. You can get some small revolvers that hold six, but they're typically chambered in 32 or 327, which um, 327 Federal Magnum is gonna be slightly more powerful than nine millimeter. But uh, if you're shooting 38 specials, these nine millimeters are gonna be more powerful than them. Okay, we're gonna do two round bursts. Nice. Okay. I'm going to do a mag dump. No issues. I'm going to do another mag dump. No issues. So, that's the Diamondback DB9. I'm pretty impressed. Yeah, we had a failure to eject, but overall, pretty stinking reliable. Accurate enough at close range. I wouldn't want to shoot it you know long distance or anything but it seems pretty stinking cool i'm impressed by it maybe diamondback is one of these companies that we need to check out more often it's just a company that i don't particularly think of very often another thing about it features it's got grip uh it's got texturing on the front and the back of the grip magazine release just on the one side it does take apart just like a glock locks back on the last uh on an empty magazine and you do have i think it takes glock 43 sites so any glock 43 sites should, should fit on the gen 4 db9 it's a good looking gun it looks like a little miniature glock 
I like it as long as it stays reliable. I'm gonna keep shooting it. I'll do a long-term review in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. You're watching Calm Gaylord. If you ever wanna support my channel, you can. On my Patreon, you can go over there and join my Patreon. I also have channel membership you can join. And there is also a Venmo link in my bio. Thanks for watching, guys. If you wanna leave a like, comment, I would love to hear from you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.